LACERT tax software time-saving tools. LACERT is packed with tools and utilities that will help take your firm to the next level in tax preparation. We're going to discuss the following. We have the K1 transfer, which will take K1 data between products so you don't have to enter the data twice. We automate the comparison of the married filing joint and separate and allow you to split the return if it's better for your client to file separately. We automate the entire production of kitty tax returns. We have a direct bank and broker import. We partner with about 400 different banks and brokers for direct importing of data. We track client status. We have something called the missing data utility. And one of our client's favorite features is e-signature. So we're going to look at tracking client status, missing data utility, and e-signature in this short video. So let's talk about tracking client statuses, one of our client's favorite features. And it's a really simple way to do it. Uh, we have a column on our client screen that says status. You can see varying clients have different statuses from final to under review, scheduled planning appointment, 30 days past due. So to change the status, which I showed you in a previous video, all you do is highlight the, the client, click the status button at the top, and change it to what the current status is. We'll mark this return as final and click and that's all you do okay now the statuses we give you five statuses to start with if you don't like the terminology of the ones we've given you you can change them so at the top of the screen under settings go to options and in status tab is where you can name the statuses we give you the ability to add up to 20 if you don't like the ones we've given you just double click maybe you don't like the word final and you'd prefer that to say complete put complete in now, every time you go to change a status, this is the list that we will present to you. So it's really up to you what you call the statuses. It makes it really, really easy. And then again, you can track the statuses as you go. You have the filtering capability to say, hey, I want to see all my clients that are on extension, information pending 30 days past due. So statuses are great. The vast majority of clients using LACERT love the statuses because it's just a really easy way to keep track of the work in progress. The, set, the second item we want to take a look at here is the missing data utility. This has been in the program for a number of years and is really an awesome, awesome feature. So the basic premise behind this tool is you do an interview of a taxpayer and sometimes people don't bring you everything you need the first time. And so there are always a few things that you need to keep track of. And in the old days, what you might do is get out a pen and paper and write them all down and then call the client or send them an email. We have totally changed that. This feature can save you about 15 minutes compared to the old process. So let's open up our sample client and let's assume that um, Jack and Kathy taxpayer told me that they don't know the amount of their social security benefits. So instead of writing that down anywhere, I would just go to the miscellaneous income screen to the field for social security benefits and right click and say missing data. It'll draw a red rectangle on your, on your screen. Maybe the spouse doesn't know her jury duty pay, so let's mark that. Let's go to Schedule C and slide down here, and you can see maybe we'll mark something like, uh, I don't know, bank charges is something else that they're missing. Okay, So you just go through and mark. Now, whenever you want, you can click this button at the top of the screen that looks like a piece of mail called Missing Data, and we consolidate all those items into one list now that you can work from. So think of this as that old piece of paper that might float around the office. Okay. Now, you can stop there with the tracking, but down below, we've made it easy for you to send them an email because we've already done the work of drafting the email. Everything at the top is listed in the bottom. All you have to do is hit send and shoot your client an email, and they've got the information that they need. The other benefit of using this feature are two other ways that we, uh, we tell you um, whether or not the client is missing information is back on the client screen. Uh, you can put a column out here that says missing data, which I did. Anyone with a check means they've got at least one thing in that list that you still need to take care of. Also, in your diagnostics, we will generate an informational diagnostics as a, as a secondary reminder that the client is missing information. Now, if I'm tracking missing information, maybe that's part of my job at the firm, and I see the check on the client screen, all I really have to do is highlight the client, click the missing data button, because we will bring up the list even though you're not actually in the client's return. So here is all the data that you need. And if they give you, if they have their Social Security benefits right now and it's 12000 just click the link and we will open the tax return and put you right on that field. Type in your 12000 
we will ask you if you want to clear the field, say yes. Now it's the tag has been removed, and if I open the missing data button at the top, we've removed it from there. So a really, really nice feature to be able to track missing information. Okay, last one I want to show you real quick is electronic signatures have become very popular. This is an easy way to get your client to sign their 8879s electronically. We have a column on the client screen that says e-signature status. All you have to do is request an e-signature, so let's do that. And it automatically knows what to send them. I need a federal 8879 in California, include a watermarked copy of the return, which is optional, and click Next. It will send your client an email. They can open up their email on any mobile device or on a PC. And we use DocuSign to take them through the signing of their 8879. So it's really a quick menu item right in LACERT. Just go ahead and click Request and send the client a request for e-signature. So that certainly covers some of the most popular features. There are tons of other things that you can do in LACERT, but wanted to keep this video short and show you some of the more popular items. Thank you.